In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve problems involving hyperbolas. The question reads, one transmitting station is located 100 miles due east from another transmitting station. Each station is simultaneously sending out a radio signal. The signal from the west tower is received by a ship 1,600 over 3 microseconds after the signal from the east tower. If the radio signal travels at 0.18 miles per microsecond, find the equation of the hyperbola on which the ship is presently located. The first time I read this, I figured that the best way to represent what's happening is on an xy plane. So let's begin by drawing out an xy plane that looks like this. And we have two towers that are sending out signals. They are 100 miles apart. One is here, and the other one is equal distant away here. And the distance from here to here, these two points, whatever they represent, is 100 miles. The next thing that I thought was that because the two towers are located east and west, that means that our transverse axis is likely horizontal. So we have a hyperbola opening up left and right. The equation that we're supposed to produce is something that looks like this, where we have x squared over a number that we don't know, minus and the reason why we're choosing minus over plus is because the transverse axis is horizontal. That's our assumption. And the term up here is y squared over a number that we are looking for is equal to one. Now, because we have a center that is at the origin, that actually helps us quite a lot. Because this point and that point represent the focus. The focus is where the signal sent out from, not from the vertex. I know the vertex will be here and here. And to find the focus of when the transverse axis is horizontal, we use the relationship F1, let's call this F1, has the coordinates of H minus C comma K, and focus two is H plus C K where h and k represent the coordinates of the center. So I can replace this h with 0, this k with 0, 0, and 0. The distance from here to here is 50. And the distance from the focus to the center is your c value. So our c value has to be, therefore, 50. We have a focus at the coordinates of negative 50 and 0, and another focus at the coordinates 50 and 0. From our c value, we know that there's a relationship a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, the Pythagorean theorem. When we find a squared, we place it right into there, and when we find b squared, we place it into there. The reason why we place a underneath x squared is because a is always associated with the positive term in the hyperbolic equation, and b is associated with the negative term. Let's substitute what we found for c into here. We have a squared plus b squared is equal to 50 squared. Now how do we go about finding a and b? For that, we need to know the distance from one vertex to the other. And we were given some important information. We were told that the signal from the west tower is received by a ship this many microseconds after the signal from the east tower. This means that the ship is closer to the east tower, east, than it is to the west. It has to be somewhere along this trajectory. So this is probably where the ship is, closer to the east tower than it is to the west tower. If the radio signal travels at 0 0.18 miles per second, that's actually very important for us because that will tell us the distance between the two vertices, V1 and V2. Here's what I mean. Let me take 1600 over 3 microseconds and use this rate as a conversion factor where I write down 0 0.18 miles at the top and at the bottom 1 microsecond. This unit and this unit will cancel out. And if we multiply 1600 over 3 times 0 0.18, we get the distance between the two vertices, which is 96. So the distance from here to here is 96. 
let me continue my analysis of this hyperbola. Remember a hyperbola, if we were to draw the asymptotes along the origin, it would form a box in the middle. And the dimensions of that box represent A and B. The distance from here to here is 2 times A, and the distance from here to here is 2 times B. We just discovered that from here to here is 96, so I'll write down 96 is equal to 2A. Dividing both sides by 2, I get A is equal to 48, and 48 will be substituted into there. We raise that to the power of 2. So we have x squared over 48 raised to the power of 2 minus y squared over, to find b, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem as discussed earlier, 48 raised to the power of 2, we bring that over, and c we discovered was 50, so 50 raised to the power of 2, using our calculator, 50 raised to the power of 2, minus 48 raised to the power of 2, we square root both sides to get b, and that's 14. So I have 14 squared is equal to 1. Let's quickly find out what 48 raised to the power of 2 is. It is 2,304, 2,304, and this one is 196. And there you have it. That is how to solve application problems involving hyperbolas.